Hello Fibers One. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do lino. Lino is a woven lace technique that's done completely with hand manipulation. So that means you can do this on just about any loom, on just about any warp, because it's all hand manipulated. So I'm going to be getting this airy lace by picking up threads and putting them on a pickup stick while twisting them. There are a few different ways you can do this. And I'm going to show you a six end cross and a five end cross. You can also do a two end cross, which just means taking two and twisting them. Because I have 63 warp ends here, I decided to do a five end cross on each end, a five end cross in the middle and four six end crosses on either side of the middle. So I'll start with the middle. So I'm going to be picking up two warps, twisting them, and picking up that middle piece. And there I will insert my pickup stick. So you can see I'm getting my lace technique here. Now I will be doing six here. So I'm picking up two, two, and two, twisting either ends and picking up the center. And I will continue to do that. So two, two, two in the middle, twisting. You can twist either direction. This is just the natural way that I find to twist them. Two, 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 twisting, picking up the center yarns. And on the end, I'm doing another five. So two, one in the middle, two, twisting and picking up the one. And now I'll continue to do this on this side here. And again, in the end, I'm doing five. Okay, so here I have twisted all of my lino here, and I'm going to put my weft through here by opening up a shed. So I'm opening it up by just twisting my pickup stick. And then I will be putting my weft through. And then I can kind of use my pickup stick to help push down my weft. Okay, and take that out. And now I will use my fork to help straighten out my warp a little bit. And then I will be continuing to weave plain weave. And in this weaving, I am doing eight plain weave, one lino, eight plain weave, one lino, eight, one, eight, one. And so I'm just going to continue doing that. So I'll do another eight picks of plain weave, and then I will do another lino. Lino is a very strong woven lace. So once it's off the loom, it's not going to feel real tight like it is here. It's going to be a little bit more flowy, but it's still very strong. And part of the strength comes from all of this plain weave in between the linos. So for my plain weave, I'm just going to use my pickup stick to help me pick up every other thread for plain weave, every other yarn for plain weave. And then I will continue to weave back and forth for eight picks and I'll do more lino. Okay. Once you do this plain weave here, you'll see that it kind of twists 
here because you've twisted all these yarns. And so it can feel a little bit weird when you first start weaving the plain weave, but it picks up um, once you've got a few picks and it feels a little bit more natural. I can see I made a mistake, so I'm going to fix that in just a moment. Right here. But instead of fixing it there, I'm going to fix it here. So I don't have to go back as far. Okay. Now in my previous, my last plane weave that I did, the weft was on top of my selvage edge. So that means I want it under my selvage edge here. So I've got it on the shed right here. So I'm just going to put my weft through. I'm gonna leave a little bit of an edge, a little bit of a tail or a loop here because it's going to pull in. You can see it's pulling in quite a bit here. And I can use this and start feeding it with my fork and then I will be picking up every other thread opposite of what I did last time for my next pick of plain weave. You can see how they're still very separated here and they'll come together, come closer apart or further apart here as you weave more plain weave. Okay, so this is Lino. I hope you enjoy this new technique. Thanks for watching.